Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of this college review series by Akash. Today we are going to dive deep into the vibrant world of IIT Bhubaneswar, a place where innovation meets tradition. So if you are curious to know what this IIT has to offer, then stick around as we explore every detail about this IIT, about its campus, courses, fee structure, placements, cutoff and trust me, a lot more. Indian Institute of Technology Bhuvneshwar was established by Government of India in 2008 under the National Institute of Technology in 1961. The IIT became the Institute of National Importance from 29 July 2021. Talking about its NIRF ranking, then according to 2024 National Institute of Ranking Framework, that is NIRF, the IIT was given a rank band of 101 to 115. Now, this is a drop from its last year's ranking, which was 91st rank. Whereas, if we talk about its campus, IIT Bhubaneswar has a stunning campus spread over a sprawling 936 acres. The campus is situated at the full of Pironi Hills. IIT Bhubaneswar is more than just a technical institute from its state-of-the-art laboratories and eco-friendly architecture to widespread green spaces. The campus perfectly blends modernity with nature. The campus provides unique, serene and pollution-free academic environment. It includes academic area, residential area, area for training center and research park. The campus also provides facilities for hostels for boys and girls, a central library, healthcare facilities, e cell established in 2013, which is also known as entrepreneurial cell, students' gym khana that takes care of all the sports, cultural, and technical activities held at IIT Bhuvneshwar. Now, let's talk about the courses offered here at IIT Bhuvneshwar. IIT Bhubaneswar offers wide range of undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral level programs that focus on the interdisciplinary approach. Talking particularly about BTEC, then there are total 495 seats available for the engineering students, which include streams such as civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, engineering physics, mechanical engineering and metallurgical and material engineering. So now let's find out the admission process and eligibility criteria to get admission in one of these courses. So the candidates must pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their course subject. So students, if you belong to general category, then you need to secure 75 percent marks. Whereas if you belong to categories such as ST, SE or PWD, then you must secure minimum 65 percent of marks in your class 12th. Further, the students need to clear J advance for the admission process. To be eligible for that, you need to clear J main paper 1. Foreign nationals need not to appear for J main paper 1 as they can register for J advance directly. Then comes the counselling. On the basis of the marks secured in your J advance, you appear for JOSA counselling and further you are allotted a seat. So the candidates who get the seat allotted, they need to verify their documents and pay the required fees. Foreign students. For foreign students, they get selected through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR scheme. Now let's get familiar to the fee structure. So here is the consolidated fee structure for your four years of BTEC. As you can see that the tuition fee for each semester is 1 lakh, which is same at all the IITs. So the total amount that includes one-time fee, tuition fee, other fee, hostel overhead charges and mess charges, the fee for the first semester amounts to be 1,47,390. Whereas if we talk about other semesters, for odd semesters, that is semester 3rd, 5th and 7th, the fee is 1,39,390. And for even semesters, that is for semesters such as 2nd, 4th, 6th and 8th, the fee is 1,37,000. So, four years BTEC from IIT Bhubaneswar will cost you around 11,13,560. Like all the government institutes, IIT Bhubaneswar also provides certain fee waivers to its economically weaker section students, like 100% 
remission of tuition fee to all the ST and SC candidates. For remission of tuition fee to all the general and OBC candidates with family income less than 1 lakh rupees. Two third of the remission of tuition fee to all the candidates with family income between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. Now remember this remission, this exemption is only on the tuition fee. The other charges such as mess charges or hostel charges will still be applicable. Now further, for all the ST or SC candidates with parental income less than 4.5 per annum will get free messing facilities. Along with this, IIT Bhubaneswar also offers certain scholarship schemes to its meritorious students. The scholarships are mainly divided into different categories such as scholarships offered by central government ministry or organizations, scholarships offered by state government and union territories, scholarships offered by public sector units or government undertakings, scholarships offered by reputed private companies or foundations or organizations, and also scholarships offered by foreign agencies. And for more information and detail on the scholarships offered by IIT Bhubaneswar, do visit the link given in the description. Now it's time to find out placements highlights 2024. Talking about on-campus placements, a total of 309 students had registered from undergraduate BTEC program, out of which 280 participated in the placement process. So far, 234 students have been placed, as per the data updated as on 15 July 2024. Undergraduate placement by then was 85%, whereas placements continue till the end of August 2024. The highest domestic CTC offered was 64 lakh per annum, which is the highest ever received till date at IIT Bhubaneswar. Here is a list of some of the recruiters from public sector undertaking and multinational companies who visited the campus in the same year. The brands such as Bharat Electronics Limited, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Google, Microsoft, Reliance Industry, Flipkart, DE Shaw, and many more became the part of this placement drive 2023-24. Now it's the time to find out what should be the level of your preparation to get admission in one of the courses here at IIT Bhubaneswar. Cutoff 2024. So here is the branch-wise cutoff 2024 after third round of JOSA counselling. You can use this data as a reference for the choice filling process during JOSA counselling. For Computer Science and Engineering branch, the cutoff for General Neutral category opened at 2,389 and closed at 3,685. Whereas for Female Only category, the opening rank was 4,833 and closing was 7,557. For Civil Engineering branch, the opening rank for General Neutral stood at 9106 and the closing was 14782 rank for female only category the rank closed at 23024 talking about electrical engineering for general neutral the opening rank was 5381 and the rank closed at 7661 for female only category the rank closed at 14183 here is the cutoff for all the other branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For more information on IIT Bhubaneswar cutoff 2024 or for category wise cutoff, visit the link given in the description. Now it's time to get a glimpse of students' life and see what tests are conducted here at IIT Bhubaneswar. Like all the IITs, IIT Bhubaneswar also conduct quite a few tests around the year. Let's take a glimpse of the tests conducted here at IIT Bhubaneswar. Elma Fiesta. Elma Fiesta, the annual socio-cultural fest. This three-day long celebration of the country's rich cultural diversity is organized every year in the second week of January. Then there is Visionaire, which is a tech fest where various competitions are on programming, robotics, business plan development, paper presentations and quizzes are conducted. Ashwamedha, which is a sports fest of IIT Bhubaneswar. It intends to promote sports as a part of life. And e-summit which is a three-day long event. The summit seeks to facilitate interaction among industrialists, funding agencies, seasoned and upcoming entrepreneur, academia and students of the participating institutes. So all in all, IIT Bhubaneswar may not have the same recognition like the older IITs like IIT Bombay, IIT Madras or IIT Delhi, but is still gaining popularity. 
with its rapidly growing reputation, excellent placement opportunities, emerging research focus, beautiful campus and infrastructure, and interdisciplinary approach, the IIT has shown potential for further development. Rest, I leave the decision on you, as this was all from me today. So now you let me know which other college do you want me to review next. Do press the like and subscribe button and share the video with your friends. For more such informative content, stay connected.